Hi guys, I'm Gian and today I'm going to share a different kind of video with you. I'm going to take a step back from the recipes and share with you my pantry organization. Now I'm a mom of two young children and I knew that this, this pantry had to be functional for us. What I wanted was a pantry that we can walk into and everything is there. Everything is organized but we can see it. I didn't want things tucked away or hidden behind anything. So this is not that type of video. I made sure to choose a lot of clear containers or things that you can see through because it just makes it easier. And I'm super excited to say that I partnered with a container store and I was able to choose a lot of different items that works really well in your pantry. And I'll show you how it can work in yours, whether, whether you have a walk-in pantry or just a reach-in pantry. Now this is the combination of containers that I selected. I selected based off of my needs and what I wanted in my pantry. What I wanted was ease of access and I wanted to be able to see everything once I walked into my pantry. So I chose all clear containers and baskets. I also chose a tea caddy and just a couple other items that it really made a difference with the organization and the use of space in my pantry. So now let's get to organizing the pantry. The first thing I did was to wash all of the containers. And guys, I just could not get that label off, so it's gonna stay there for now. But you have to wash everything, make sure it's clean. After all, we're gonna place our food into these containers. The next thing I did was to remove all of the food, all items from my pantry, and to place them in my kitchen. Now, I was so surprised at how much food I had in that pantry and I also had a lot of things that were expired or I just, I wasn't even aware that was there. So this was actually a great process. Yes, my house looked like a wreck for a little bit, but it can only get better from here. Now that my pantry is empty, I'm just going to give it a little bit of a cleaning before placing the food items back into the pantry. And my shelves are lined with a plastic shelf lining and you can find this at the container store or any other big box hardware store and I love the fact that they just clip easily onto the shelf. And here is my new organized pantry. Let me tell you, I absolutely love it and it functions so well. It works so well for my family and I think that's important when you're approaching an organization project. Just know what makes it easy for your lifestyle and think about what you need when approaching the project. Whether it's a pantry or a closet, whatever it is, you have to think about your needs. One thing that I didn't do was to label any of the containers. And I did this because I wanted the containers to be interchangeable so I can pretty much use it for anything. These two baskets I've already had. Now, if you want to know where I got all of my containers, it will all be listed and linked in my blog post. So be sure to check that link out in the description box. One of the things that I wanted for the pantry was a place to place snacks. And this is super, super simple and functional. It's a clear see-through bin, and I was just able to put all of the kids' snacks into this bin. So I have graham crackers, there's popcorn, we have applesauce, bars, brownies, just a combination of whatever snack, 
snack for you. So in the mornings, it's super easy for me to grab something for my son, throw it in his lunchbox, and he's out the door. Another thing that I have in the pantry is this tea box. This is one of my favorite pieces. I love, it's clear acrylic, and what I love is that it has different compartments for the teas, A to be exact, and it has this cover. So you just put all the teas in the different compartments and it's, it's, it's about four boxes of tea combined into this container. So this, and it's beautiful. So I absolutely love this. Up here, I have all of my items for tea, coffee. I have K-cups. I also have hot chocolate for my K-cups. And over here I have these beautiful jars with the wooden cover. I have my coffee stored in it and it is airtight. That was very important to me. When looking for containers, I was sure to choose ones that were airtight because I wanted to make sure that the food doesn't get stale or the crackers don't, you know, it just doesn't taste that great when it's exposed. So that's why I chose some of the containers that I did. And the container store has a beautiful variety of containers, so you can't go wrong. Another item that came in super functional were these acrylic boxes. Now these have a sticker on the back, so you just place it on the wall, because as you can see, this to me is dead space. So I just placed it on the wall and placed, you know, just a different variety of foil, aluminum foil and um, cling wrap and snack bags. And this was tucked away in a drawer in my kitchen. So now that drawer is free. I have more space in my kitchen and I'm able to move it into my pantry. Another item that's really functional is this container and it works really well for packages. I'm using it for granola and oatmeal, but it's just, it just works perfectly. It just has a place to have it sit instead of having it in a bulky box. And that's the thing, getting rid of the bulky box frees up a lot of space in your pantry. pantry. Frees up a lot of space in your pantry. Another thing that I love are these cereal containers. They're airtight. This is approximately about a box and a half of cereal. So it holds a lot. I believe this is the medium size. And I love that it has this lid and you can simply pour straight from the container. And the best part is when you're low, you can see it. It's right there. It's not really tucked away. Another item that I chose, that, let me tell you, my husband was super impressed with, and I absolutely love it, is this gravity can feeder. So basically, you just store the cans this way, and as you take, as you take a can, it just rolls to the front. This Lazy Susan is another great find. It makes it so easy for me to access all of my sauces and oils that I use on a regular basis. And thank you for joining me. All of the products will be listed in the blog post and I have that linked in the description box below. Thank you and I will see you next time.